Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Paige Rivard. Um, I'm the CEO of PWSA USA and also mom to Jake, who is 12, living with PWS. So tonight, um, I'm very excited. I'm joined by several of our staff members, and we are really, really happy to give you a sneak peek of what will be going on at this year's convention. And it's hard to believe, but this will be our first time that we've been back in person since 2019. So we're very, very excited. So tonight we're gonna cover a few things. Uh, there is a lot going on and we've had a lot of questions from the community. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the Medical Scientific Conference. We're going to talk about the Professional Provider Conference. You'll hear about the externally led patient focused drug development meeting or the ELPFDD and the family conference and a few other fun things that will be going on. So we're going to get started. Um, I will run through this. These are a few highlights. There will be a first time attendee welcome reception. You'll hear all Hello. about this a little bit later. Um, there's going to be a general welcome reception for everyone. And for those of you who are um, athletic or early risers, not me, but sunrise yoga, um, a family conference, welcome and keynote, dad's den, serenity station, if you just need to relax, um, our gala, very excited to tell you about our gala, night under the stars gala for the kids, volunteer awards, and um, a family den. So lots going on and um, we'll get started here. To kick off our convention, the first conference is actually the Medical Scientific Conference on Wednesday, June 21st. Um, this conference is primarily for physicians and healthcare providers. Families are welcome to register <clears throat> as observers if you're interested in hearing about what's going on at the Medical Scientific uh, Conference. In this day and a half, we'll hear about research um, and the things that are going on from the top PWS experts. And this agenda is still being finalized, so this is definitely subject to change, but you'll hear from uh, people like Dr. Singh, Dr. Scheiman, uh, Dr. Miller, um, Dr. Dueth. So uh, people that are um, definitely specialists in PWS. Um, on Wednesday evening, after the first day, there's going to be a reception view posters that have been submitted. Then the second day, the, the MedSci meeting, it's only going to be a half a day. So usually the MedSci is a, a two full day conference, but it will be a day and a half this year. Because the second part of the day from noon to 430 will be the um, ELPFDD, which you're going to hear about later. And I'm going to turn it over now to Stacy Ward. Stacy is our director of family support, and she's going to walk you through the next uh, conference that will be taking place on Thursday, the Professional Provider Conference. Stacy, thanks, Paige. Hi, everyone. Um, so, some of you may not be aware that we host a professional provider conference for the uh, professional providers who work in residential settings, community hub care management, social work, your res hub folks. Um, some of your teachers may attend this conference and it's an opportunity for providers to get together and brainstorm, share some of uh, their struggles, regulations, how things are different, things that they can learn from each other. Um, we are bringing in a few new speakers this year and I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, we have a two behaviorists um, attending and speaking, one being Casey Bedard, who I think many of you are familiar with, and another is Jessica Zielwiski, who is the founder and CEO of the Atlanta Behavior Academy. Uh, we end Provider Day every year with what uh, the feedback surveys have shown to be the most favorite part of this conference for everybody, and that is those sharing sessions. The roundtable discussions about topics that the providers have included in their surveys that are either troublesome, they're looking for some feedback, or they have found a really great way to address this and they want to share it with the group. So that's just kind of high level what Provider Day is. 
And I'm going to pass it off to Christy. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm so glad to see so many of you here. Um, I'm going to talk just briefly about some of the amazing speakers that we have um, lined up. Our keynote speaker, Crystal Barrett O'Loughlin, I don't know if you have heard of her or seen anything by her, um, but she is the founder and CEO of Angel Aid Cares. Um, she's going to be talking about caring for the caregiver. Um, we also have a few other things about caring for the caregiver because we're important, right? As parents or caregivers, we need to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. So Jessica Pate will be there from We Are Brave Together, kind of talking about helping find your tribe, you know, getting getting connected. And Anne Frick's going to be there talking about therapeutic journaling. We also have some young adults coming to speak. They're going to, um, we're kind of calling it our stories. They're going to be young adults sharing their uplifting and hopeful stories, talking about all the amazing things that they have going on. Um, we're going to have the capital T-H-E experts in nutrition. Um, Dr. Jennifer Miller and Michael Tan will be there to share about that. Um, we have a group of ABA therapists that are going to be there that are going to be able to uh, answer all of your questions, talk about different topics. Um, and we have a fireside chat. Our fireside chat, I'm so extremely excited about. It's Dr. Miller, Dr. Ravana, and Dr. Singh. And they're all going to be up on stage together, um, kind of sharing the importance of how they all kind of need to work together. And we'll be able to ask them questions. I mean, a bunch of great minds all in one place where you guys can get so much information. Um, I know Paige had mentioned that we're going to have a first time attendee um, get together. Paige will be there. I will be there. We'll kind of go through things, kind of help you all understand um, what's going to be happening and where to go if you need to talk or if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. We'll also have a small gift for you. Um, the welcome reception. We have live music. Um, Austin Ellis from season six of The Voice is going to be there. All kids are welcome and there will be a cash bar. Um, let's see. And then we'll have a serenity room. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed, you will find me there. I will be there with you probably a lot of times. So, um, but the Serenity Room is a place where you can go. If, again, it, it can be very overwhelming at times, right? There's just a lot going on. So feel free to jump in there and just soak it in and relax as much as you need to. Um, we have a whole list of other speakers, but that's just kind of like high level. Some of the top ones I wanted to hit on, please message me or call me if you have questions. I'm always available. Thanks. I'm going to now turn it over to Kim. She's going to talk about our wonderful kids camps. Hey, everybody. Yes, the lovely kids camps. We did change the name um, from Yip Yap and Sibling to camps, um, PWS camps. So we have the Little Tykes, which is for zero to 24 months. Um, that used to be the infant program. And we're going to have, that's going to be led by um, a director of nursing works in the NICU, um, along with her daughter, who also is a nurse, and two of her other daughters. Um, so they'll be doing age-appropriate activities. We have some crafts planned in there, lots of kid toys we're going to get, um, and a lot of TLC for the little ones. Um, then for the junior adventure camp, which used to be YIP, um, that's the two to six-year-olds. That is going to be run by the director of DD Homes and a couple of her staff and special education teachers that she is bringing along with her. Um, they're going to be doing activities, everything from scavenger hunts, um, obstacle courses, different arts and crafts, things like that. So very age appropriate. Um, they will be divided into groups based on their age. So everybody will be with kiddos their own age. Um, and they will have um, staff, two to three staff for each age group. So it'll be a pretty high supervised activity. Um, and then we have the adventure camp, which used to be called GAP. That is the seven and older for those individuals with Prader-Willi syndrome. Um, it's gonna be run very similar to past years as far as everybody's gonna be divided into age groups based on their age. We've got tons of activities um, from exercise, uh, the dance, we will be doing the dance room again this year lots of arts and crafts, some social skills. Um, we were, we did get uh, bird feeders donated from Home Depot. So we will be doing that um, as, a, as a basically a big activity. So everybody will be making bird feeders. Um, and then we will be practicing with the other groups for our closing ceremony. 
Um, the sibling camp used to be called just siblings. Um, that again is for kids who are six and above um, that do not have Prader-Willi syndrome that are siblings. Um, they again will be divided into groups based on age. Um, they'll be doing the same arts and crafts as the, the adventure camp, um, but they'll also be having some pool time, doing a little bit more outside activities, and <clears throat> um, they have a lot of games and physical activities planned also. So we are, and they will be joining us for this closing ceremonies also. So that is an overview of the camps. So we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Hi guys, um, I'm Dorothea Lance, the Director of Community Engagement at PWSA USA, and I have a five and a half year old son named Hunter who has PWS, for those of you who don't know me or have never met me. But for anyone who has had a conversation with me over the last three to four months, you've heard me talk about ELPFDD probably until your head is going to explode. Um, and, and that is because this is something that is extremely exciting for our community to have an opportunity to be involved with. Um, and ELP PFDD stands for um, Externally Led uh, Patient Focused Drug Development Meeting. This is a program that was um, created by the FDA about 12 years ago to give patients, caregivers, um, people involved in rare disease, a voice at the table. Um, it gives us an opportunity to create something called the Voice of the Patient Report, which becomes published papers that um, becomes public, public access. So pharmaceutical companies looking to do research um, in the world of, of PWS drugs will have access to that report so that they can help develop the, the protocol that it best fits our community's needs um, so that we can we can help the development of drugs that actually helps our entire community. Um, it's a very exciting opportunity. We will be having two panel discussions. Uh, the meeting will start at noon and it goes until 4.30. Uh, we will have a box lunch provided beforehand. Um, we have uh, the director of CEDAR at the FDA who is going to be speaking. Um, she will be speaking virtually. We have somewhere between 30 to 40 members of the FDA who will also be attending on virtually. Um, and this is basically the entire department that oversees um, the approval process of PWS drugs. So to be able to have a captive audience listen to us um, is, is truly an amazing opportunity. Um, the first panel, we, we will have two questions. We will have audience participation. We will be able to take maybe a couple of questions uh, virtually from for those of you who are not able to attend. Um, so when you are registering for conference and it says, do you want to do you want to participate or do you want to attend the ELP FDD? Just say yes. You want to, you want to be a part of this. Um, we're expecting somewhere around 200 people in person. Um, and, and it's just a really exciting opportunity for all of us to be heard. And some of us will be staying afterwards so that we can answer additional questions. Um, it's a really exciting opportunity and not, it has never been done in our PWS community before. So um, I'm extremely excited. And then right after that, we also have something else that we've never done before. And I looked through who's on here tonight and I see some of our dads. Um, we have put together a group of amazing dads um, who have helped us create a dad's den. Um, so this is going to start right after the PFDD meeting. It's going to be from 4.30 to 6.30 on Thursday, and I believe from 5 to 7, or 5, 6, yes, 5, 5 to 7 on Friday night. Um, and we have secured, and guys, listen, this is dads only. So um, please, please, please understand, we we always want to do stuff to help our moms, and we need it, and we we will have an amazing an amazing serenity room with lots of surprises, but the dad's den is going to be great. We have secured a bar in the hotel, very short distance from where all of our conference uh, discussions are gonna be taking place. Um, it is a really cool space. There is a pool table, there's, um, there's cornhole, there's all those billiard games that, I mean, I can't even get into it. It's just gonna be amazing. Um, I'm, I'm excited to be able to do this. Um, there's a couple of other surprises that, that we're looking to, but it's just a really cool space. 
so our dads can get together and kind of talk and have a safe place. Um, we we do realize that that conference can be a lot for all of us. Um, so this is it's a it's a really nice opportunity for some of our dads to get to know each other. And then the really great part is that when we were discussing this with our dads committee, they got together and they decided, you know what, we have to open this up on Saturday night. So we're going to have our dads den for Thursday night and Friday night, but on Saturday, we want to make it a family den. So we're opening it up and everybody else has an opportunity to come and uh, take part in what the dads have been doing for two nights. So if you're going with your husband and he says, please let me go, let him go. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, I think I'm I don't know if I'm turning it over to Kim, Stacey, uh, Christy, You are or... turning it back to Melanie. Oh, Melanie. Okay, Melanie, you're on. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Melanie McDonald, and I'm the Director of Development here. I recognize many familiar names, but for those of you who don't know me, um, I live in New Hampshire, and I have two children, a son named Henry and a daughter named Josephine, who is four with prader willi syndrome. So very excited about this year's conference. I've never been before. Um, and extra excited that we get to do it in person and meet all of the people that I've, you know, connected with over the past four years. So I'm here to talk specifically about our Hope United Gala. Um, as Dorothea has said, and as you've heard throughout, um, you know, conference can be an intense experience with lots of new information um, and lots to process while you're there. And, you know, what better way to close out that time than to kick back and be with your friends and enjoy some great entertainment. So this year we have um, dueling pianos coming to perform. There's a picture here of what that's like. So two baby grand pianos head to head and usually they sing lots of uh, popular songs and standards and get the audience really engaged. Um, it's $75 a ticket and you can register at the time that you register for conference or even afterwards. Um, and with your $75, you get dinner and drinks um, and a chance to bid on wonderful items that we'll have in our silent and in our live auction. And just to give you a taste of what those things are, we have some amazing jewelry, some designer handbags, a wonderful trip to Tuscany, an Apple Watch, an iPad, an autograph basketball from NBA's Orlando Magic, um, and also our very own national spokesperson and PWS dad, Clint Hurdle, is donating a, a small collection of um, autographed baseball paraphernalia. So that's just sort of a scratching the surface of what we'll have there. But the idea is that, you know, we want to have something for everyone. We want it to feel casual and relaxing and fun and sort of like, uh, you know, put a bow on the package of the end of, <laughs> of your convention experience um, and be something, you know, that you really enjoy, um, you know, with, with all of your new and old friends in the PWS community. Um, really quickly, because it's not its own topic, I'm also going to be responsible for organizing our uh, PWS store, PWSA store. So we're going to have items available for purchase as we have in the past and an expanded selection of items that's going to be available to purchase online. And we're going to publish a link to that in advance. So you can order all your convention gear and have it delivered to you before convention so that you can use it while you're there. Um, and we're also going to have a, a wonderful table and booth, uh, Dorothea and I, where people who are interested in learning more about <laughs> advocacy work with PWSA or volunteer fundraising opportunities will be there to, um, you know, to hear about your ideas and to find the best way to you know, work with you and put all of your skills and passions for the PWS community um, to work for everyone's benefit. I'm not sure if I missed anything, but I'll be here on the end for q and A. I I do want to pass it back to Kim, though, because um, before we talk about registration, I want Kim to speak briefly about the Night Under the Stars, which is our, our kids gala. Yes, thanks, Melanie. I forgot to mention that. Um, we are having the Night Under the Stars, which is the kids gala for seven and up. Um, we will be having dinner included, as always, um, and then we do have a DJ um, so we'll be having a fun night of dancing. And then something new um, for this year is we will be offering limited child care for um, zero to six um, in a separate location for the parents who would like to go enjoy um, the parents gala without their little ones. Um, again, because of the 
wide age range, everybody will be divided into groups based on age, um, figuring maybe the four and six year olds might pop down and dance off in a little area. Um, and again, that zero to six childcare will be run by DD Homes. Um, so they've got a lot of experience with little kids. Um, and if there's questions, I'll be here for the Q&A. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Angela is going to tell you, if you haven't already registered, how to register. Hi, my name is Angela Frazier, and I am the event coordinator for PWSA, and I am the one living and breathing this convention, and I am so excited to, one, meet all of you and also just get together with old friends that we haven't seen in a long time. Um, I have a son who is 11 named Joseph that has Prader Willie. Um, so if you haven't registered already, all you have to do is go to our um, National Convention registration website, click on that, and then on the home page, um, you can scroll down past the welcome with page, and then you're going to hit convention registration. And then once you click on that, you're going to um, see like a drop down box and you can select which type of registration you'd like to, to do. Um, it might be medical scientific. And if um, you're a parent and you want to be an observer, it might be medical scientific parent. Um, and so there's all these different options. So you click on the one that you would like to go to. And then once you do that, it should take you to the next page. So if you're going to, after you fill in your information and you need to add an additional attendee like your spouse or you want to register for a camp, you would click on this blue button. And if you do do the camp, um, there is a lot of questions. Um, so um, just be prepared. That does take a little bit of time. So, um, but if not, you click on this and hit next. And then you add all the additional information for your spouse or whoever else is attending, grandma, grandpa, all that'll go in here. Then once that, that is filled out, that's it. Well, you have to pay first. <laughs> But there's other, there's different options. So when you go through everything, they'll, it'll ask you, do you want to go to Sunrise Yoga? Um, do you want to, you know, different meetings like Dorothea was talking about? There are different questions. So make sure you are reading, you know, just what else we have there, um, just so we can capture who's going to be there so we know and we can be prepared. But we're really excited to see you. Um, I think it's going to be an amazing time together. And I'm really looking forward to meeting all of you. Great. <clears throat> Thank you, Angela. Um, I know that was a lot of information. This is being recorded. We're going to put it out on um, social media. And if you have questions for us specifically, obviously, I think there's some questions in the chat. We'll go through. Uh, but if you think about a question that you want to ask um, and you don't do it tonight, you can always send us a, a message at info at pwsausa.org. Um, and we will be happy to to answer those questions. It looks like uh, Michael has his hand up. So Michael, do you have a question? <clears throat> yes, I do. So uh, first, I want to say that I'm very impressed with the presentation tonight. Um, Thank you. But my question is, <clears throat> will the night under the stars be for all levels of uh, PWS attendees? Yes, it will be just like it has been in previous years. And and will and will that include a meal? Yes, it will. And, and my last question uh, I can think of right now is: so will the night under the stars run concurrently with the uh, Hope United Gala? Yes. Yep. We have them set to run together so that parents can go enjoy while their loved ones are enjoying their time. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Paige and Angela, there's a couple questions in the chat um, that go together. One of them is, will the menu for the PWS kids be keto? And then what are the food options available for campers? So could you two talk a little bit about the menu and how we got to that? Okay, sure. Um, we actually had um, somebody create a menu. Um, it's not out yet. We're just, we're finalizing everything. We did um, send it to Dr. Miller um, and to get approval. Um, she has approved everything. Um, we're just kind of finalizing. Um, it's not completely keto, um, but it is Dr. Miller approved, which 
Um, I take that as a stamp of approval, <laughs> hopefully for everybody. Um, and then if you if you do it once we do bring out the menu and, and we put it online, if there's if you don't, um, if something your kid can't have, we are asking that you come and get your child during like lunch and take them out um, and feed them lunch just so um, we don't have like different food options there and um, the other kids getting upset. So um, as soon as I can finalize that, I'll for sure um, get it out to you. And regular menu. Um, we have not finalized the regular menu. Um, it will be a little bit different, um, but that has not been finalized, but I will work on that and get that to you as well for the siblings. Charles, will there be a meal schedule? Kim, you have a meal schedule, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, we have snacks. We have breakfast scheduled um, and then we have scheduled two scheduled snacks and lunch is scheduled at the same time, um, both days for everybody. And then sunrise yoga, no, it does not have childcare. It's six in the morning, um, so we won't have childcare there. Kim, do we need to have pre-made bottles done for infants at camp or will the childcare staff be able to make those? As long as everything, is as long as everything is supplied, they should be, there should be enough people to make those. We do have volunteers. Awesome. And, and then, then Charles, Charles, yeah, there, it'll be published. We'll get that out. Kim, Kim and I'll work on that and get it out for you. Great well, question. Can, I, uh, can, you, can you guys talk about the app? Someone uh, sent me uh, a question yeah. directly to me. So we will we will have a mobile app when you register you check in um, for conference there will be instructions on how to walk you through the mobile app. If you would like to download the app on your phone and before conference, we will have that we don't have it ready yet, but. Um, about a month before conference, we would have the mobile app ready and you can download it, you can we won't be printing anything this year so. You know, presentations will be on the mobile app. Um, all the information about conference will be on the mobile app. We will have one thing printed in, in your bag, in your conference bag that gives you the agenda for all of the days. But we're just trying to, you know, um, obviously save some money and some trees and not print out mounds and mounds of presentations. Um, but more to come on that. And like I said, when you register and check in, there will be somebody to help you too if you need help with the mobile app. Kim, could you answer a couple more questions about the um, the two to six age groups? So things around their activities, different physicality levels and ratios? Yes, I just saw those popping up. Um, so for the we have a total of um, 55 participants allowed for that age for the two to six age group. We will have a total of 15 staff. Um, so the children who are two years will have a two child to one staff. Um, three to fours will have two to three staff with two volunteers. So a three to one, three children to one. Five and six will have a four to one, four children to one staff. Um, as far as the activities go, we have a wide we have a wide variety. So that they will have social play. They're going to make popsicle sticks, picture frames, moon sand, um, modified soccer. And if somebody can't do that, there's other activities that they can do. Um, less physical, balloon tennis. We're going to have a movie, scavenger hunt, sensory battles. Tissue paper painting, coffee filter flowers, sensory bins, um, puffy paint, color hunt, and another short movie for day two. So it's kind of a mix of physical and non-physical. Uh, the question, that are, will the events be child friendly if you prefer to keep your little ones with you? And you're more than welcome to bring your little ones. Um, obviously we feel very lucky right now that we can have a kids camp. Um, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of volunteers. And 
Um, if you want to take your children to that, that's great. But if you want to have them with you, you know, during the conference, you're more than welcome. We do just ask that, you know, the normal, be respectful. If they are starting to act out, just take them outside so we're not interrupting the presenters, but you're more than welcome to have them with you. Uh, is there a dress code for the gala? So that's going to be casual. Um, you know, we we didn't want it to be, we received feedback and we we're trying to take the feedback that we got that we, you know, people don't really want to pack a formal dress um, or suit. So it's uh, business casual or casual and anything is, anything goes, I'm sure we'll have people there in shorts. People might want to wear a dress, but it's casual. So feel free to just come relax and have fun. As you guys can all see, convention is um, large. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of different activities and we could not do this without our sponsors. Um, so we have several sponsors who are helping us offset the cost so that we don't have to pass along all of that cost to all of you. So I just wanted to acknowledge that, um, you know, they, we couldn't do it without our sponsors. So thank you to all of them as well. And we actually have sponsors that are still coming in. So, you know, we will definitely be recognizing them every place that we can and sharing them. And they're on our website. Um, they're on the C-Vent website when you register for conference. But um, Stacy is absolutely right. It's, uh, you know, it's amazing what conference costs <laughs> with the food and the, the rooms and just all the activities that the kids are doing, everything that Kim is doing, you know, with the camp and um, so we, we, uh, we are hoping everyone enjoys it and, um, we appreciate all the volunteers that we have had so far and that continue to come forward and offer their help and support. And I did see, do you know if the hotel rooms have small, yes, they, each room will have a small fridge in it. I did see that. Is there still room available at the hotel? Yes, there is. And then you can also book your room on our website too. It'll say um, hotel reservations here. You can click on it and book your room through there as well. I would just like to say thank you again. I know uh, Dorothea mentioned it, but we have some of the dads on here um, who have stepped up for the to create the dad den and and sort of, you know, help us get this kicked off this year. So I know every time we turn around, we're talking to dads and saying, you know, hey, <laughs> come to this, get to know other dads, uh, grandparents, it's, you know, any dad, grand granddad. We know we have lots of people who um, support our loved ones with PWS. So just a little quick shout out to the dads and granddads that are on here helping make that happen. Um, Charles, you have lots of questions. Um, parking? <laughs> yes, we have a discounted rate of $10. Anything else, Charles? I'm taking myself fucking mute for this one. <laughs> <laughs> now, only, only thing I was just going to add is just uh, one, just thanking you guys for one, um, all you're doing for the dads, because, um, you know, that was one of the key talking points when we went to the volunteer summit and, and I just appreciate you guys leaning forward and making sure that that happens and getting the dad some some limelight because you know in these times a lot of the mothers take on the responsibility to, to do it all so again I just appreciate you guys leaning forward and getting us involved we love having you we're grateful to have all of our dads Charles all of them you guys are amazing to answer your question, you have a 26 year old. There will be other adults with PWS attending the adventure camp. Uh, there's Kim, what's the maximum number for that group? Maximum number is 115. Okay. Great questions. And then for airport transportation, um, there's a um, shuttle called Mears that you can get um, and you can get it right at the airport. It's easy to get. Yeah, if you, um, it's Mears Connect, but yeah, right at the airport, it's cheaper than an Uber, <laughs> cheaper than a taxi. So Mears Connect is, is the way to go.
Tammy said her son is 29 and he will be there. Yay. <laughs> Well, we're, we're looking forward to, like everybody has said, just being in person again, being there, um, seeing old friends, new friends. And um, for a lot of us, this is the first time putting together this conference on this end. Some of us have attended conference, but um, I don't, other than Stacey and Kim, none of us have done conference from the back end. So we are super excited to be doing this for our community and um, just looking forward to seeing everybody. Oh, here's more people that are gonna be here. Jacob, 27. Are there any heads up for first time uh, coming to the conference? I think, you know, the first time attendee reception, we definitely would love for people to stop by there. It's just a quick 30 minutes and we wanna give everybody kind of what we're doing tonight, just an overview of what's going on, um, give people, put faces to names. So if you need something, you can seek out, you know, a PWSA staff member. Um, I would say get a lot of sleep before you come to conference. <laughs> um, there's, you know, there is so much to do, um, but do whatever you want. Don't feel like you have to do it all. And um, just really come and enjoy. And um, if you need to take a break, go to the Serenity Station. You know, we're going to, as I think Dorothea said, we're going to have a great room in there to just relax. Um, but I would, I would just, you know, take it at your own pace. Just be there, take in the information. Um, you know, you won't remember everything. I remember, I do remember the first time I was there, um, but it was a little overwhelming. But just ask for help if you need, if you have questions, just find a PWSA staff member, volunteer, um, and, and we're we're there for you. I just want to add to that quickly. Um, Paige, if I may. Yes, yes. Is that Tammy? Yes, okay, real quick. So, so everybody, we've been doing this. Our first uh, was and I think Terry, uh, her son, her Can you hear you, Tammy? Hey, Tammy. Tammy. Oh, yeah. You're breaking up. You're you're breaking yeah, up. I'm here. <laughs> Let me see if I can get off of uh, something else. Go ahead, Christy. You go. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, if you have questions about some of the topics that are being discussed. Before you go into the room, find somebody and ask them. You know, we'll make sure that everybody knows kind of what they're age appropriate for. There's things with new babies that you don't necessarily need to go in and learn about certain things yet, right? You can get to that when and if you need to. So if you're if you're not sure, um, find somebody before you just go in because that can really be hard to hear things that you just you really don't need to hear about quite yet. Thanks for sharing that, Christy. Uh, Hillary made a suggestion of creating a Facebook page um, for people like that. who are attending to get to know each other a little bit better. I think that's a great idea. Um, we could do something like that. And then, Angela, is there a code for the hotel? Um, I just lost where it was in the chat. I, but saw, I saw that about six. There, there are seven people coming, and you can only have six. Um, there <laughs> isn't like a, a code. You can say, you know, our PWSA um, national convention. Um, I guess it depends on the age of the kids. I have a lot of kids too. So is it seven like adults or would you be, you know, I think it's just more, you're going to be comfortable in a room with six or with seven that would fit six. Or do you have like a little baby that's going to be like a, in a crib or whatever. So um the they other do thing, maybe Angela may not be able to accommodate seven in a room just because of fire codes. Oh, I worked hotels true. for years going through college. So that may just be a fire code issue based on their room size. Yeah, and it could be, and I can ask David too, um, because the suites, they have the pull-out couch in the living room. So I would think that you could, and I know that there's an option to put to put a um uh, when they, what is that? I'm so sorry. When they bring another bed in. Thank you. <laughs> I know that's an option for the suites. So you might just have to call um, on that, but we 
do not have like a code. It's just, it's under our convention, but I can for sure, I can ask David um, and just to see what he says or recommends for seven. And I think Roxanne, if you, um, if you contact them and they're still having problems, reach out to Angela um, or send a, a quick note to info at PWSA USA and you know we'll be happy to get back to you that yeah. way too. Um, good question though. Michael, did you have another question? What? I do. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so how how close is the adventure how how close is the adventure camp to reaching full? Um, we have really we're not we're not close enough that you need to worry. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone just sent a question directly to me again about if there is someone we can chat with about what should we attend and what should we not. Attend. Sarah, it's kind of hard to hear you. I don't know. Um, I can answer what so Sarah was mentioning that somebody was asking me if. Uh, if there's somebody they could talk to about what they should attend and what they shouldn't. And I think that's a little bit of what Christy was speaking to. That yep. um, anyone on staff, the National Convention, it started at five, I missed. Uh, that uh, you could speak with any of us on staff and we could give you a little bit more insight into each of those sessions and what to expect during them. Tammy, I see your hand is raised. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You. Sorry. I'm not in the car anymore. I've been trying to multitask. So we've been doing this, this convention with PWSA since 1997. That was our first convention. And we've been to all, but maybe one or two since then. And I'm here to tell you that it is such an emotional roller coaster, and it's exciting to meet families that truly understand what we're going through. And, um, there's no right, wrong, or in between on what we do. We're all here for each other. And, um, you know, you just go with it and your kids will meet friends that they will be friends with forever and get to see each other every couple years. And it's so empowering for us families. It's so motivating for our families. But more importantly, it's so exciting to see our children grow up with friends that understand them and they truly get each other. So I know there's a lot of anxiety probably right now going on with some of you that never been to it, but I can, I guarantee you, you guys can come find me if it doesn't, it's going to be fine and it's going to go okay. And if you walk into a, one of the, the breakout sessions and it's not what you thought it was, go to a different breakout session. It, everything's fine. You guys will enjoy it and you will make, meet some lifelong friends um, on this journey and you will really feel, especially those of you with younger kids, you will truly feel that you're not alone. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> great, great points. I actually received, I received a question here that says, that was asking about the app in particular and will the app that we that folks download for conference um, have a capability like a chat uh, mode capability so that people who've downloaded downloaded the app can chat with other attendees. Do we know that? Is that I think it's that's a yes. Yeah. So it should you, be if the same C event app, you should be able to chat. Yeah, there will be a chat option. And it's we, we're in the process of building it. So um, that's why I don't know that much about it. But yes, <laughs> I do know that there is a chat and there is a way to, from what I can understand, I can say, okay, Christy, um, do you want to meet? You know what I'm saying? Like if people want to meet somewhere, you can put that in there too. Like, hey, meet me at Dueling Pianos. We're going to have a good yeah. time. Meet me at the that's dad's den. Stuff yeah. like that. Yes. I don't see any other questions in the chat. Anybody else have any last minute questions? No? Well, thanks again um, on behalf of the entire staff. You know, we are again, looking forward to having everybody in Florida, um, meeting new people and just enjoying being in person and being together and having a great conference. Um, so any any additional questions I see Melanie put in the info at pwsausa.org again, but you can always 
you know, send any of us a question at any time or Sarah put in the phone number. Thank you, Sarah. Um, and again, we're just really, really excited for convention. There's just so much going on. There's going to be new things that we haven't done. There's going to be old things that we've always done. So it's a great combination of um, things for, you know, everybody, all ages and um, looking forward to seeing everybody.